All right, guys. It is Thursday, January seventh, two thousand and twenty-one, at nine o one p.m. All right, let's take a look at these stories. We have Arizona deemed the hot spot of the world amid virus surge. Five months after President Donald Trump hailed Arizona as a model for how it dealt with COVID-19 pandemic, public health experts warned Wednesday that the state has become the hot spot of the world and the health restrictions the government has been hesitant to impose could have tramped down the crisis. It's way worse than July already and it's going to continue to get worse. We're probably two weeks behind LA in terms of our situation. Will Humble, head of the Arizona Public Health Association, said referring to the Los Angeles County, where a COVID-19 surge has created a shortage of oxygen and led ambulance crews to stop transporting patients they can't revive in the field. Health officials in Arizona reported a triple-digit number of new virus-related deaths for the second day in a row with more than 7,200 daily cases, with hospitals strained by a record number of patients. Arizona has the worst coronavirus diagnosis rate in the country, with one out of every 119 people in the state testing positive in the past week. So, Arizona is definitely a hot spot. Alright, next. Another round of southern snow expected this weekend and to early next week. Another round of southern snow is increasingly likely from Texas to the Appalachians this weekend and to early next week. Its future along the East Coast after that remains very uncertain. An upper level disturbance will dive out of the Rockies into Texas to start the weekend, bringing the chance for snow. An area of low pressure will organize and track into the western Gulf of Mexico on Sunday, spreading precipitation across the south as it moves eastward. There may be enough moisture overlapping with cold air to produce snow in parts of the south this weekend into early next week. So we get another round of snow expected from Texas to the Appalachians beginning this weekend. Dallas-Fort Worth is among the areas that could see snow uh, from the system. Snow could fall under northeast depending on how close the, the low tracks to the east coast. So we got more snow into early next week. All right, next. Oxygen is the latest COVID bottleneck as hospitals cope with intense demand. The oxygen delivery infrastructure is crumbling under pressure in Los Angeles and other COVID hotspots. It says the Los Angeles hospitals give record numbers of COVID patients oxygen. The systems and equipment needed to deliver the life-sustaining gas are faltering. It's gotten so bad that Los Angeles County officials are warning paradem uh, para excuse me, paramedics to conserve it. Some hospitals are having to delay releasing patients as they don't have enough oxygen equipment to send home with them. Everybody is worried about, about what's going to happen in the next week or so, said Kathy Childister, director of the LA County Emergency Medical Services Agency. Oxygen, which makes up 21% of the Earth's air, isn't running short, but COVID damages the lungs and the crush of patients is hot spots such as Los Angeles, the Navajo Nation, El Paso, Texas, and in New York last spring have needed high concentrations of it that has stressed the infrastructure from delivering the gas to hospitals and their patients. The strain in those areas is caused by multiple weak links in the pandemic supply chain. In some hospitals that pipe oxygen to patients' room, the massive volume of cold liquid oxygen is freezing the equipment needed to deliver it, which can block the system. You can completely, literally completely, shut down the entire hospital supply if that happens, said Richard Branson, a respiratory therapist with the University of Cincinnati and editor-in-chief of the journal Respiratory Care. There is also pressure of the availability of both the portable cylinders that hold oxygen and, to, and the concentrators that pull oxygen from the air. And in some cases, vendors that supply the oxygen have struggled to get enough of the gas to hospitals. Even nasal cannulas, the tubing used to deliver oxygen, are running are now running low. It may seem nuts, absolutely nuts, said Esteban Trejo, Trejo general manager of CIOSA, an industrial and medical gas distributor based in El Paso. He provides oxygen to several temporary hospitals set up specifically to treat people with COVID. In November, he said he was answering calls in the middle of the night from contractors 
worried about oxygen supplies. At one point, when the company's usual supplier fell through, they were hauling oxygen from Houston, which is more than a 10-hour drive each way. Branson has been sounding the alarm about logistical limitations on critical care since the SARS pandemic early, nearly 20 years ago, when he and others surveyed experts about the specific equipment and infrastructure needed for a future pandemic. Oxygen was near the top of the list. So these hospitals and uh, these people needing oxygen are having to deal with the intense demand of it. Alright, next. New powerful Merapi volcano eruption prompts evacuation for more than 500 people in Indonesia. At least 500 people were removed from an island of Java, Indonesia today after the erupting Merapi volcano began to expel thick cloud of smoke. The authorities evacuated an area of 5 kilometers around the volcano. So far, the potential danger does not exceed 5 kilometers, said Hanik Humira, the director of the Indonesian Geology Agency, in a statement. Activity of the Merapi 400 kilometers southwest of Jakarta began to increase last Thursday, according to the Indonesian Geology Agency, which indicated that the volcano was erupting. The agency's director has asked the population to remain vigilant and establish a security perimeter of 5 kilometers around the volcano. So that area definitely active and more volcanoes are becoming active. Alright, next. Apocalyptic hailstorm kills 4 in the constitutional capital of Bolivia, Sucre. Alright, it says here, apocalyptic hailstorm floods Sucre in Bolivia. Extreme rain and heavy hail caused flash flooding in parts of the city of Sucre, Bolivia on January 4th, 2021. Sucre, Bolivia um, is experiencing a lot of hail. Apocalyptic weather phenomenon killed at least four people, injured seven. Meanwhile, six other people are missing. Police rescued 14 people with symptoms of hypothermia in the most affected region in Chuguiscaca in Bolivia. Look at that. Look at the cars just flooding the building underwater and all that excess hail floating around. It says, uh, it's in Spanish, it says impacting images of the effects of hail in uh, Sucre. Alright, so pray for the people in Bolivia having to deal with all this hail. Alright, next. I just wanted to show you guys from Richard. Um, it says, fireball caught on camera from Hampshire at 2327 last night on, on January 4th, 2021. Let's take a look at this. That's a pretty good uh, meteor there. Let's back it up a bit and watch it again. Or fireball. Nice. Alright. So keep your eyes to the sky. Pray for the people in Bolivia. Pray for the people um, in the capital. And pray for the people who need oxygen uh, because they're running low on that. Alright guys, see you next time. Hit like and subscribe for more news. And God bless you guys.